guys, it is 70 degrees right now. That's right, seven, zero, 70. It's like perfect. It's like the best riding weather of all time. And uh, it was like very overcast today, this morning when I got up and it was pretty cloudy up until about, I, I don't know, maybe like, ooh, maybe like three o'clock. But uh, yeah, right now it's just freaking gorgeous. It looks awesome. Well, not looks, it is awesome, it feels awesome. I, I'm so ready for the cooler weather. I mean, we've had a brutal summer and now here we are just enjoying, enjoying the cooler, cool breeze of fall. It's like, it's like just moving in, I can't wait. <laughs> Someone put a sign there, it said slow speed camera ahead. Thank you, good sir. That's actually kind of funny. I've seen people, uh, they've actually gone as far as to spray paint it on the road. Like, you know, slow down, speed camera. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not about to have you come out and kill me. Gotta watch out for this big bump. It's coming up down this here somewhere. Right there it is. Ooh. It's like a ramp, man. Oh man, a bug just smacked me right in the face. Oh, there's something about this clear wind visor. It's like, the moment I put it on, it's like, oh, we're gonna get that thing super dirty. And all the bugs have slammed right into it. Ah, yes. These are the roads I like. Lots of farmland, woods, little houses, very few houses. Uh, I guess there's big houses too, but you, you, whatever. They don't, they don't take away from the awesomeness that is the road. I mean, there's a barn right there, perfect. That's how you know you're in the right place when you're passing barns. Believe you me. Oh, multiple barns. Perfect. That's an awesome house right there. With the barn and a whole bunch of different stuff out there. Silos. I'll take that in a heartbeat. I don't know if I could be a farmer, but I would definitely like a good amount of land. I, not not too much. I think I'd like enough, I'd like an acre or so of, of grass, give or take. And then if I had more land, it would, I'd like it to be mostly wooded, you know? I mean, one, I don't have to maintain it. Uh, but two, it makes it seem so much more secluded. And that's, that's like a dream right there. Being able to just kind of have a, a huge wooded lot. I just want the, the the one acre of grass just because to make the you know give give the house some curb appeal, make it look good. Um, even if you have to drive through woods to get to it, have a little yard around it. That's also so I can utilize the yard, throw ball with the kids, throw ball with the dogs. Right now, be this more like it. Um, you know, be able to utilize the yard and not just have a, a wooded lot where you can't really do much with it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the that's the ultimate goal. That's the dream, man. I don't want to live in the city. I don't want to live touching houses like I am right now in townhomes. I want to I want to live out here. <laughs> I want to live in that house over there. Although I don't I don't think I could handle that much farmland. Oh, I know that place. I've been there. That's an apple orchard over there. It stinks really bad right now. God, I wish you could smell that. That's that's just terrible. Whew. Minivan's going awfully slow up here. What's the plan, Stan? Okay then. I guess their plan is to do 10 miles per hour under the speed limit. I just put a, a, a 12 miles per hour in the speed. That put a big damper on my uh, on my evening. Good gosh, bro. 
Oh, please be a passing lane up here somewhere. Gee, you should about hit that guardrail. Come on, you can do it. And stay between the two two navigational lines here. One's yellow on the left, one's white on the right. Yeah, yeah, stay between them. Swerving all over the place. I wonder if they're going to stop before they get into it. Jesus. Come on! Stop sign! Jesus Christ, man! People just have no clue! Oh, it irritates me to no end. How are you going to stop at a roundabout, dude? God! I did call that they were going to stop. You can just tell by people who can't drive. You just, you just know. If you're doing 15 miles per hour under the speed limit and it's 45, I mean, it's not like it's a crazy speed. If you're doing that slow and you're coming up to a roundabout, guarantee you're stopping for a damn roundabout. Or traffic circle or whatever you'd like to call it. I call it a roundabout. It's more fun. I'm cool now. We're good. A G-Wagon. Sup? That's a expensive ass SUV, man. Expensive ass. Man. I wish I had my tinted visor now. I took it off because I rode at night. And I figured I'd keep it, the clear one on because, for the most part, and every time I get home, it's going to be a little bit, woo! It took my stomach away. Uh, whenever I get home from work and I go for a ride, it's going to start getting darker and darker and darker. In fact, by the, eventually, I, I, by the time I get home, it's going to be dark. So, might as well just leave it off and use the clear one. But here I am, driving towards the sun. This great ball of fire here. It's burning my eyeballs. Oh God, oh Lord Jesus, that's bright. That's, this is the worst idea ever. Well, this road's freaking awesome. I'm doing, it's like 50 miles per hour. Doing, I'm doing 60, who cares? Um, but, oh God, it feels so good out, man. 70 degrees, sun's out, blue skies. I'm actually a little, a little chilly, but I, only when I'm in the shade. Like right now, it's a little chilly. When I'm in the sun, it feels, it feels just magnificent. It feels delicious. This is like prime riding weather. I was gonna prolong the, the ride, but. Uh, my eyes are taking a beating right now from the sun and I would just continue going towards it because that's the way around. So I was like, ah, screw it. I'll have fun on this road.